Hello and welcome to session four of MLM 101 Mentoring. This is Sandy Burgess. This is one of my favorite sessions called Armed and Dangerous. So let's move right into it. You know, you've got to think like a network marketing professional. There's a book called Go Pro I recommend that you read. And I want you to start thinking like a pro. Treat your business like a business. It's a serious business, guys. People make more money in a month than most people make in a year if they build this right. So learn the basic skills to see success. But I want you to become a network marketing pro from this moment on. Be ready for rejection. It happens. Don't take it personally. And you've got to prepare your people that you sponsor and bring into the business for rejection because it happens. Don't let it shock them. Get your team ready for rejection. Just tell them up front, you're going to have some rejection. So get ready for it. Just happens. I never take it personally. It just rolls off my back. In fact, you need to read another book I recommend. It's called Go For No, because you want to get 10 no's in a day. Because if you get 10 no's, you're going to find a yes in there somewhere. Let's move on. Rejection, deflection. You got to come from strength like the Wonder Woman pictured here, deflecting the rejection that comes at her and the bullets. You know, become bulletproof. This only happens if you come from a personal passion point. Your why, your story, using the tools, using the four-step system, all anchor you in to becoming bulletproof so nothing affects you. And it is you know, a time thing. It takes time to be there. But if you develop that passion and you've written your why, like you are told to do in that first session, and you've worked on that story, and you're using the tools and the system, guess what? You're going to see yourself see in success. Your spouse may not listen, guys. So talk only positive about the business. No complaining. I read this in Mary Kay's book years ago when she said the worst thing a homemaker could do is complain about the business to her husband. He'll just tell her to quit. So make sure that you talk only positive about the business. Your best friend may not listen. Just ask them for their support and tell them you need a biz partner to run with, a backyard buddy. We'll talk more about that later, but understand it just happens. Just ask them for their support. Your boss may not listen, so be respectful and share your story. That's all that you can do. Don't go after them to sponsor them. Just be respectful and tell them what happened to you. Your doctor may not listen, so ask them to give their blessing and ask for the approval. Is there anything in here that might hurt me? These are just things that you say. Keep sharing the opportunity, guys. You know what? Stay consistent. Stay focused. Stay excited. Stay plugged in. You know, Napoleon Hill said it best, set your target and stay on track until you hit it. So many people just come short of making their goals come true just because they are not consistent. They're not focused. They don't stay excited and they don't stay plugged in. Avoid the booze killers. This is the biz killers. Don't beg people to do the business. Don't badger the people. So that they just, you know, take you off of their Facebook friends and won't answer your phone calls. And don't babysit. That's not what this business is about. Work with those that work. Work with those with vision. Work with those who do the things that you want them to do. Do educate versus beg. That means this business is about education and you need to educate them on why uh, you are doing this, why you chose that, a little bit about the product, about the opportunity versus begging them to do it or talking them into it. Follow up versus badger. Listen, I'm just touching base, seeing if you took that product or I'm just touching base. It's been about a month and I wanted to see how you're doing. It's just a follow up strategy. Understand versus babysit. OK, understand. I loved what Jim Rohn once said is that you can work with a thousand people, 
but you can't carry three on your back, meaning that you cannot do the work for them. So don't babysit. Educate, follow up, and understand. Network marketing professional, there's knowledge and power. They educate and they understand. These are two key components about this business. You educate them on what you're doing and they start to understand why you're doing it and that they can do it too. Robert G. Allen said, no matter what the product is, you are ultimately in the education business. Your prospects need to be constantly educated about the many advantages of doing business with you. Train to develop their business more effectively and make never ending improvements in their lives and their lifestyle. Great advice, Robert. Don't work alone. Engage your sponsor. Empower your team. Embrace the network and stay plugged in and stay excited. Engaging the sponsor. We're going to break this all down for you. Means field training. That's the three-way calls that we talked about in session three. Two-on-one -on -one meetings. You, your sponsor, and your prospect. Business launches where you kick it off and they're there to help you do that. In home mixers, you can team up and utilize your sponsor every step of the way. It's a show and tell business. It's an earn as you learn business. So engage your sponsor. Be a winner, not a whiner. There's too many people that just whine about every single aspect. I work with the winners. How about you? Listen, learn, duplicate. Listen, learn, duplicate. Prospecting like a pro. How do you do that? So many people kind of prospect and they really don't know what to say. So we're going to give you some strategies here to prospect like a pro. Prospect like a pro on Tuesday nights or whatever night you are having your calls, the lifestyle opportunity calls. Don't just ask people to listen in. Better yet, as a pro, if you're prospecting like a pro, you three-way the prospect into the call. You enroll them into the business after you've three-wayed them in, and you do a welcome three-way with your sponsor. That's what a pro does. They just don't hope someone listens into that call. They three-way them into the call, enroll them, and do that welcome call. Prospect like a pro with webinars. Let's look at that. Opportunity or training. A pro watches together with their prospect, discusses after and sizzles, and then three ways into welcome calls with their sponsor or to answer questions. That's how you prospect like a pro with webinars and trainings. Pros like a pro, like a pro with your replicating website. There's 24-7 availability there, but a pro, if you're going to prospect like a pro, guides your prospects through the website, highlights key points for them to look at. Best scenario, look together. When are you going to be at your computer? Okay, 11 o'clock, I'll be at my computer. We'll log in on the phones and we'll talk. You can do that so beautifully or Skype it in there. There's always ways that you can do it. FaceTime, Skype, telephone, just do it together and prospect like a pro. Prospect like a pro with training calls. We have special Super Saturday calls on occasion. And when you do those training calls, best scenario is to gather your team together in one room, listen to the training, sizzle about what you can do with that training and go around the room. A round robin is so important because it gives ownership to everybody there. Everything they are saying, embrace it because that's what ownership is about. Don't just be a dictator in the front of the room. Do the round robin, do the sizzling, get the ownership thing going so everybody feels part of the team, team spirit. Let's talk about the ships. I read these books a thousand years ago by Don Fela, and he talked about the gold ships. These are great leaders, and you, you see that they are developing leaders, and they anchor deep, and they are usually six-figure-a-month earners. There's very few of them, but you can work towards that goal. Gold ships. Silver ships. Well, they're good leaders. They create volume. They need to develop more seat silvers. They are usually five-figure month earners, and they're great leaders, okay? But you can develop them into that all-important gold ship. If they've met it that far, keep motivating and encouraging them.
tugboats. This is a majority of the people that are involved with you. They're usually retailers part-time in the business. They don't necessarily understand anchoring deep, so you need to train them. They sometimes sponsor, sometimes by accident, and they quit way too soon. But just like a tugboat does is they do a lot of hauling of those big boats, so you don't discount them at all. They're great, great volume creators. Dip ships. We all know these people. You know, they're the complainers, the people that can't see what you're doing are kind of nasty with you a little bit. We all know these people. You know what I say to you? Run as fast as you can. You do not need people like this in your business or looking at your business. Move on. Remember, some will, some won't. So what? You know what I say? Next, talk to more people. I love the book Go For No because instead of looking at you talk to three people and you had three no's and get discouraged, you go, okay, I've got three no's. I, my goal today is to get 10 no's. And you keep calling until you find 10 no's because then you're going to find some yeses in there. And that's what this business is about. So some will, some won't. So what next? Work on yourself first with this business. Become armed and dangerous. You've got to read good books. Motivational material, positive quotes. Leaders are readers. I love to give quotes. Even on Facebook, a couple times a week, I will quote someone that's awesome and gets me motivated. I will look under categories of motivation, determination, focus, and I will make those quotes. So read good books. Feed your brain. Develop yourself and uh, really become a leader. Work on yourself first by listening to inspire, uh, inspiring audio messages, inspiration, music. I love upbeat music. In fact, if you're walking on a treadmill, so the only way you can get on that treadmill and stick with it is with music. So do the same thing with inspiring audio. Find it, listen to it, and motivate yourself. Work on yourself first by being positive. Being positive means positive action. It means positive speaking, positive thinking. You have to look at the glass half full versus, you know, half empty and have a thankful heart. That's one of the most important things that you keep in your arsenal of personal weapons is to be thankful. What did Zig Ziglar say? Have an attitude of gratitude. So work on yourself by being positive. Wake up early and say out loud, who can I help today? That's what this business is about. It's a win-win scenario for you and the person you bring in. How cool is that? Action assignments, network marketing pro, become one, think like one, become bulletproof. Work on yourself. Stay focused, stay plugged in, stay positive, stay excited, and consistently recruit new people into the business and use that sponsor that is so crucial to taking action. Now, Willie Nelson, final thoughts. Once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive results. That's my message with this. Thank you. Now tune in to number five.